Welcome back to Brent's Hang, I'm Brent Barnett. This is our Hardware Makeover of the Month episode. Not yet, man. For those of you guys that aren't familiar, this is the episode where you guys send me videos and pictures of your kit, and I choose one each month to remake in my own way. Not yet, man. What's really cool about this setup is that it's really large, and it's not like large that it takes over a lot of floor space, it's got a lot of stuff on it. So let's see who the lucky drummer is. Where'd he go? You're up, dude. Oh, thanks. Dude. Josue Velasquez. So let's see what Josue is working with here. He's got eight, 10, 12 rack toms, 14, 16 floor, 22 inch bass drum, and a 14 inch main snare. Now on his left side, as far as cymbals, he's got two crashes, Right above his rack toms, he's got two splashes, and on his right side, he's got two crashes, a ride, and a china. He also has a set of wind chimes right over a 16 to top it all off. So circling back to the left side, he has a side snare that he's using a tom bracket and a tom arm to mount. He has a mixer, a drink holder, and a music stand. But sorry, Josue, I don't have a music stand. So he's using a rack to mount everything in the front and everything on the left side. On the right side, he's using stands. Now, a rack is a very efficient way of mounting a lot of gear. But for those of you that are not interested in using racks, but you still like the functionality of racks, I'm gonna show you another option using hybrid setups that you can incorporate your own stands and still have the benefit and functionality of a rack. So let's see what I did. So for the left side, we're gonna talk about it as a chunk because there's a quite, quite a bit going on here. What I did was I created a workstation out of the side stealth rack, which is the GSS MS. Out of the front leg, I mounted his secondary left hand crash. On the crossbar, I mounted the secondary snare, which I used a snare basket to mount to the crossbar for those of you that don't want to mount a bracket to the side of your snare shell. Out of the back leg, I used our laptop stand to hold the mixer. And I also added our little nifty drink holder too. So I'm mounting all my rack toms to tom stands. I've got my eight inch tom, my 10 inch tom, and my left main crash, and my first splash here, all consolidated into one stand. I'm using the 6713 QP, which is a quad mount stand. It's designed to hold two rack toms and two cymbals. Now on the right side, I've got my 12 inch tom, right main crash, and secondary splash mounted to a single tom stand, which is the 6713 SP. Now this stand is designed to hold two different items, but I was able to get three on there. So what I did was I attached my splash to the same tom arm that my 12 inch tom is mounted to. On our right side is where we get a little bit of the hybrid action going. And I've got a 46 inch curve bar connected to the front tom stand to the back cymbal stand that's holding all of our cymbals. We've got our ride mounted to the crossbar, we've got our secondary right crash mounted to the crossbar, and we've got our wind chimes mounted to the crossbar. Our china is on the cymbal stand supporting the crossbar in the back. The product highlights for this setup are the GSS MS, the side stealth rack, the 6713 QP quad mount tom stand, the 6713 SP single mount tom stand, and the SC GPR 46C 46 inch curve bar. Well, that's it for this episode of Hardware Makeover. Josue, thank you very much for submitting your kit. If I butchered your name, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. For those of you that are interested in submitting, please send all your videos and pictures to brentshang.gibraltar at gmail.com. For those of you that have already submitted, it's not, you're not out of the running yet. Keep watching because you may be next month. See you next time.